Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be unboxing MC Mong Song For You. Uh, this is a mini album that was released a couple of years back. I've been meaning to get this for a really long time, actually. It's not that I'm necessarily a huge MC Mong stan or fan. It's just that it has one of my ultimate favorite K-pop songs. It was my favorite K-pop song that year, and it's called Love Mash. I highly, highly recommend listening to it. It's... It's a pure K-pop song. Like, I really love everything about it. The video, it's, it's even funny to watch as well. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about him and uh, kind of my journey with him and my collecting for him. Because I'm not, I like some of his music, uh, but not all of his music. Uh, but yes, I finally got this. I got this brand new and... Honestly, the packaging is not that great, but the songs in here are really good. So here's the front and the back. This is literally like white, uh, but it's it's one of those whites that change changes color um, by through time. Like it's not that high of a quality, and this is it happens to a lot of K-pop albums. They become like dark white or yellowish um and as you can see i got this brand new and it's already kind of damaged um right here you can see that it's a little bit dented but you get four songs in total um six tracks um overall so there's two instrumentals but four so four songs um and here's the spine yes so let's get started um, this is the um, CD, the disc. There's nothing on the back. It just says MC Mong. Or Mong. <laughs> um, yeah. This. So there isn't really much to this. Uh, there's no pictures. So there's just drawings. And that's it. Literally, that's it. But... The music in here is really good. Again, Love Mash is it, it was that song is just makes me like happy just hearing it. It's one of those songs that has something special and that's the reason why I love K pop because it it really uplifts my mood. Like that song and so it's one it's a very like I don't know. It's addictive. It's really addictive. Uh, I love the instrumental for it as well. Uh, and then the highlight of that song is Chancellor's vocals. I wish he was huge in Korea so he would put out like more music because I really love the tone of, of his voice. Um, it's really unfortunate that he doesn't get kind of credit that much. Uh, yeah. And I know he's changed his name to like chance or something so i don't know what he's called now but i highly recommend listening to his songs his voice just is phenomenal um but yeah i highly recommend listening to this this is an album that um uh, it's probably going to become like kind of difficult to find after like a few copies of it like get sold so if you do want to get it um physically go ahead and get it now i think it's relatively cheap um, and as for MC Mong, I have been listening to him actually really, really early on, um, when I was getting into K-pop. Actually, funny story, he has a song with B.I. called Indian Boy. That's the first song I listened to by MC Mong, and I was, I really liked it. It's, it's really silly. Most of his songs are really, you know, carefree. It's more, it's not too, they're not too serious. Some of them are, but most of his the songs that I like from him are um, just very carefree. And that's how I got into him. I used to listen to that song all the time. And who knew that B.I. was going to end up in a K-pop group? Um, I was It was really funny. I was like, oh, that was him. When I found out like he was an icon. Well, when I was watching Icon. It's a reality show. Uh, what else? Yes, I really want to get two of his albums. Um, the one where that he had after his hiatus because he had a whole scandal in Korea. 
uh, if you don't know, he like kind of exempted his military service and he had to some, he said he had something wrong with his teeth or something, but yeah, he got a lot of hate for it. And then he made a comeback and it was really big, um, which is like really ironic. This was a big song as well. And, um, he had another song with Unji from A Pink and that did relatively well as well. So I really want to get, um, that album with Unji's song and the album that he had a comeback. And interesting fact, like, if you are a long time K-pop fan, you would know maybe some of this. Um, he created a group called Dalmatian, or then they changed their name to DMTN. And they had this golden, golden comeback album with, um, uh, the title track is called ER. And... He actually made his own version of that song in, in that studio album that he had. I, I think it's called Miss Me or Diss Me. I, I, I forgot what it's called. But the album that he basically released after his long hiatus. And he has that song. And it's really good as well. <laughs> and he has this, another song with Mello. This like singer. And it's really good. I forgot what it was called. But it was another amazing song as well. So he really puts out solid music that's really timeless in my opinion. Um, I'm not a huge fan of his like early stuff. It's just not for me. But like his songs from 2009 to now, like I really enjoy his music. Um, so I want to get at least those two albums. I have his Indian Boy album and then now this. So I'm missing two more. And yeah, that's it. I, I highly recommend listening to his stuff, uh, especially because like, it, it's a twist on what, you know, what mainstream is um, basically what most international K-pop fans listening to listen to. His is more catered to Korean audiences. Um, that's a w the best way I can describe MC Mong's music. Uh, but yeah, guys, I... Just recommend listening to this. Give it a listen and tell me what you think. Um, if you have any other questions, please comment down below. Uh, and yeah, bye guys.